Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the vlog or a beer review. So I'm kind of pushed into this beer review actually because I'm watching these guys on the Hop Addict podcast. I think it's the Hop Addict po podcast. The Hop Edition. The Hop Edition. I've just found them today. The Hop Edition podcast. And of course we got uh, Dudes Brew Richard Williams. Owen, Chris and Andrew Lynch on there and I have a beer from Mr. Andrew Lynch himself. It's his Elvis Juice Grapefruit IPA. So they're all talking about Christmas beers and whatnot and I thought, well I've just done a couple of reviews, you know, and um, it would be, uh, it'd be the right time to crack open one of this chaps, there he is. One of this chap's beers is up here in the corner, look, while I'm listening to him talk about beer. So, um, I have seen the video where he makes this, actually, but I can't remember much about it. So it's a 6.5% grapefruit IPA, and I've had... Framing, you fucker. I've had the Elvis juice, obviously, by Brewdog before. But this is, uh, this is Andy's version, so thanks for sending me this, mate. I don't normally do homebrew reviews live on the channel because, well, more often than not, they uh, kind of don't live up to what they should do. And I don't want to humiliate anybody, but trust me, mate, I'll be honest with you on this one. And uh, considering the couple of beers that I've had already from you, sir, I've no doubt that this is going to be a winner. Okay. Oh, oh. My fault. I tried to aggravate the head a little bit there. Let's just tone up this lighter touch. So, there we go. Lovely colour. It looks darker than it actually is because it's lit from the front, of course, and we've got some backlighting with the cameras on. With the boys there. Uh, I've just immediately got a big hit of quite a caramelly multi body to this from having a slurp there. Just shows you how darker the beers come across on camera, doesn't it? Than what they actually are in real life. But this is a little bit, just a little bit lighter than this. So let's have a little snifter on the aroma. So I'm picking up the grapefruit. And I'm picking up some citrusy notes, but other than that, this thick white head that seems pretty stable is kind of keeping all of that aroma in check. So I suggest we slurp that off the top. Oh, oh mate. Definitely, and the flavour we've got. There's a, quite a lot of sweetness left in there. I thought it would be a bit drier than it is. I imagine that's compensating for a little bit of the bitterness that's lingering. I can tell it is quite a bitter beer. I imagine the IBUs are probably up in the 60s or 70s. But the sweetness that's left in this beer have kind of cancelled that out a little bit for me. I could be completely wrong. Could be completely wrong. But that's what I'm picking up from it. There's a lot of unfermentables in there. Maybe mashed high. Like I said, I've seen the video, so you might think I'm cheating. Or I might have just got all of that completely wrong. I'm going from first principles here. The reason I'm saying maybe mashed high is because the head is sticking around really. It's a solid head, that is. Even though I just gave it a little splash. It's not being fed from the bottom. It's not an over-carbonated beer. The carbonation's on the low side, if any, which is perfect. But that head staying means that the... There are a lot of, there's a lot of body in this beer, there are a lot of sugars, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say protein, but uh, there's a lot going on there to maintain that head. So I think the sweetness of this beer is counteracting the actual bitterness which is there. And of course that bitterness means that it's been able to put a lot more hop flavour into this beer than uh, would have happened were it not for that higher mash temperature. Mm. 
so going back in again. Fantastic beer. I don't want to drink it all on camera. I'm going to turn the volume back up on these guys and listen to the podcast. Like I say, I'm new to it tonight. Um, I'm two hours in, so when I came to it, so I will skip back and watch the rest. But uh, I'll leave a link down below in this video, guys. I suggest you go and find it, and who knows? These are decent chaps. They're all right, just like me and you. Maybe they can build up a little bit of a community on this channel and it's somewhere for us to go on a Friday night and have a chat while the frigging pubs are closed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you very much, Mr Andrew Lynch, for sending me this fantastic beer. Hopefully we can share a pint together in person at some point in 2021. Cheers, my mate.